Minolta SRT201 SLR film camera awakening. Finally, now it's time to see if this old camera can be revived. I've got the print film and the processing. And now I have a battery that claims to be the replacement for the old PX13. This battery needs to have the exact same voltage as the original for the exposure meter to work correctly. Well, okay, the first step is to take the film out of the box and then out of its canister with the pop. Okay, and there is the print film. Okay, we pull up on the uh, left side knob. To uh, insert the canister of film and you push down a bit on that same knob to secure it in place pull the film across the film plane and tuck it into the rightmost tabs uh, while at the same time assuring that the sprockets that are just to the left of that are, are catching the film so the job is to try to make the film both uh, level and tight enough to uh, make a good film plane. So I also had to uh, remember to go back to the left side knob and crank that to tighten up the film a little bit. But be gentle about that. Just tighten the film enough to help make it a tight pull across the film plane. Okay, this battery compartment lid unscrews with thumb pressure. As you see, they're just twisting it off. Oh, now I notice inside of the lid is a picture of the old PX-13 and how it should be oriented into the compartment. But I know from memory that the plus sign goes up. Well, let's check it and see if, the, if we get any response from the exposure system. Well, it works, so we're in business. So now we can continue. This is a match needle exposure system. So on the right, there's the indicators for the exposure. Uh, as it is now, with the needle clear at the top, it indicates there's no battery or that it's turned off or that the, uh, there's insufficient light to take a picture. Okay, now we have the battery in and we can see that the needle has responded by traveling to the bottom. And then when I put my hand in front, to reduce the light levels, the needle rises to indicate that an increase in exposure or reduction in shutter speed is needed. So it seems to be working. And then below, through the viewfinder, is the indicator for shutter speed. And then notice on the right, how the uh, the match needle changes when you change the shutter speed and that's how that system works in the center there's a fresnel lens that it's hard to see here because the light is too strong but it helps to snap in the uh, focus okay so in the next video you'll see uh, see me taking test photos and then sending them off for processing and when the prints arrive back here you will see them when I do because I will video the envelope opening and review of the results. Hope you enjoyed this video about the Minolta film camera.